Okay, then welcome back. We are in the central area. It's called Chapel Entrance. That's probably what I'm going to call this episode, now that I see it. Uh, two ways of getting in. You could go ahead and break this lodestone. I guess it's called, actually called a foundation block. I kind of thought it was something else. Um, any ranged attack on there will basically knock that in and make a hole in the ground. You can jump out, jump in there, and enter through this way. But I feel like that's the bad way. I feel like that's kind of the way you take if the doorway fails but we got good christmas we ain't we ain't we ain't worried about that not really so we're gonna make our way down and this is probably a good place for me to make a hard save chapel entrance i think about it let's do that let's go ahead and speak to this guy on the door knock 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 everything all right out there and we're gonna go with performance because we get plus three for christmas oh we actually have better on deception because i'm such a nice person I am deceptive. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's on. Uh, we get... <laughs> I basically need to not roll a one. Please don't roll a one. 17! Oh, we didn't even need it. Poops change positions. I don't think they do change positions. Right, so... We are going to absolutely hammer this guy as quickly as we can. Ideally, we want to get Bless off when we get to Shadowheart this time around, because uh, the fight in here can be unpleasant if you're not careful. Uh, there are more enemies through this door, so you don't want to go too close to that or start messing with things. But we can get behind him. That's not going to be an issue. I'm going to go ahead and get Put that on there. Thank you very much. Yeah, she gets straight in there. Very nice. No need to be using um, Action Surge right now, so we're going to keep that. We'll keep the Pommel Strike as well, because that's once per um, short rest as well. So we're actually going to keep these for late, because we're going to be a little bit more inundated with enemies very shortly. So we're going to get this guy down nice and easy. There's no point in blessing either, because he's just going to go. He's going to fall very quickly. We have a key, some bottleage, nothing that we want. We're good. Start looting now, though. Everybody likes looting. Only dust and silence. Who are those prayers for? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and loot this table. Um, I like taking things like this just to sell them later. Especially at the beginning of the game when we're, like, mega poor. Every little bit can help, but maybe not, like, cheese from the floor. Got some camp supplies here. So I'm just I'm going to clear this table and clear out this little area. We'll skip forward just so it's not, like, too long on the video. Okay, and so with the room looted, let's go ahead and get into hide mode. If we can get away with not aggroing these guys straight away, we want to give this a go. It's locked, apparently. But if we can, we'd like to draw the enemies over to this. So if we can go with an illusion like here. Where's the bloody lock? We can probably Ignition. whack some damage down range. Again, so let's move on in. Still in hiding right now. I don't know where the rest of them are going to be. They're definitely not in that room. We saw numbers come up, so I think they're over there. We don't want other armor. Thieves tools. We don't need a dagger. We don't need a short bow. Where's the rest? It should be like three. Heard something, it must be in there. Curse to put my hands on everything. I'm gonna take damage from my own stuff. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, so it lets you not get ambushed in this room. Yeah. So like anybody watching the video right now, this is where you'll drop in from. You can see the uh, the light there. 
if you use the foundation stone. I need, I need this fire to go out, otherwise I can't sneak. Should mind my step. Let's do some looting while we wait. What's that sealed scroll? I don't think I remember seeing that before. Great water, maybe. Yep, they're in here. I can hear them. Use tools some more. Get everybody over here. I'm taking a bit of damage here. It's probably not good. Let's get into hide mode. Uh, I think I'm going to choose to use a spell because these replenish. Um, obviously it's for camping. We shouldn't really take a terrible amount of damage. Can you hide as well, please? Let's see how this is looking. Ah, here's the rest of them. Or is there anything else like that we can gather them near? Not really. Like you could put them into an AOE area, but by the time you get there they're gonna aggro, aren't they? Like you can't go over a burning hands then. Unless you fog clap. I ain't going home but then we'll still make it close, again. we don't really want that. And they're facing each other too much for me to try an assassination. I guess it's probably because we weren't very loud about taking that guy out. We didn't get seen properly, did we? We could twin spell, take the first shot. But there's still... Oh, that's how... Oh, that's how we can do it. All right, all right. Okay, okay. That's how we can get a nice start on. Let's get this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh no, I should have entered turn mode. I should have entered turn mode. Come on, again. Right, oh, you get over there. Enter turn mode. Right, here we go. So we want ice knife, twin spell. And yeah, we can get most of them twice. Alright, we definitely want to get you. Probably you. Did we get much time? Oh yeah, I killed one of them outright. That's great. And then, uh... Take oh, I've still got another cast. That's amazing. And then, uh... You could have another one. Oh, it missed. <laughs> and then you can move out of the way. That's fantastic. They're not even in on the combat yet. That's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Uh... I guess we can get a shot. We should take this guy out first. Uh, to be fair, actually, no archers are the most annoying. So he joins the battle, gets a crit. Lovely boy. Lovely. Oh, they've got to get a go first, look. What comes now? And then... <laughs> uh, I suppose damage new that. question is, how far can I get you before you roll initiative? Sneak attack for more damage. I could have done that, yeah. <laughs> Surely it's not going to let her run all the way in. Nearly. <laughs> She didn't roll into the battle until she was practically on top of it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Swift and lethal. Um, 
I just can't choose turn is he okay in turn in turn <laughs> get away from that right who dies <laughs> who's dead oh, she, oh it did use her movement up though it did actually use her movement up okay that's a shame uh she's a bit stuck there then all right okay i guess we uh go with the bow wasn't quite as amazing as I thought. Bow does two to seven. Let's let's if it hits, let's definitely get rid of you. Missed. Pull sword back out. That'll be the end of turn. Stay focused. Pull back a little bit. Hey, that twi what are they doing? Nothing. Surprised. Is that what that first one was? A surprise. Have they lost turns because they surprise attacked them? Have to oh man. Go then. Right, you're gone. Ignition! It's honestly like I'm going to get a shot off at this rate. Out the way. <laughs> you, you dead. You're dog meat, pal. Absolutely nailed. Stealth Archers 2.0. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, you could take those, like, to sell. But, uh, I mean, the other doors look nice, but it's not really great. That'll do those, and then we can loot the room. Oh, we need to finish this guy off before he wakes up. Excuse me. Well be done. Can you uh, finish the job, please? There we go. At least things have stayed interesting. That might be worth a look. Uh, let's pull this lever. So this, I think it's this lever that opens the door. we already looted. We've already done it, so we're not we're not really bothered. No witnesses. The unclaimed. I don't take half of these books. I don't even know if it's good to or not. Okay, looks like that's all for looting here. What's inside? Did I check all of these? I think I did. Yeah, we got the spell scroll from you, didn't we? Now this door is open, but we've already been through. It's already done. So now we can leave the, uh, the ruin, which is cool. And are probably going to go with doing mostly open worldy stuff, I think, before we go to the Emerald Grove. I still really want at least one more level. Books are worth good money, are they? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't have, like, the. You should keep going to. Uh... The town and back. I suppose it's a good idea, really. This game doesn't respawn stuff, though, does it? So you could conceivably run out of things. Alt rogues, morsel. So we're looking pretty good around here, and we've done what I mostly what I want to do for this episode, which is clear out the ruin. So let's go with coming up this road a little bit. I guess we're going to have some goblins to fight. My pack, very nice. Thank you. These always seem to sell pretty well at 30. Well, as a as a base value. Got steps up there, look.
give a bonus quest or other. I don't know. I didn't realise they did that. So we've already been through here. This is where the mind flayer was, I think, stuck. Yeah, right there, look. So that's good. I suppose we could go into the Emerald Grove. There's a lot we can do there. I just feel like... Man, I don't want to take damage there. Good. Still good spell slots. We've done really well. I'm not normally this good with um, resources on the caster. Here's our shovel. I hear shouting with your tutorial is what they're for. Let's get the shovel. Where are you? Come on. Give me that. We can go and do the one at the ruin now when it's convenient. We kind of want a fast travel point soon. Should come across one. Here it is. This is going to be a goblin fight. We could do the goblin fight. So that gives us our new fast travel point. So, let's go back to the overgrown ruins so that we can dig up that other mound we found. Which is quite a bit away, isn't it? Now, click up here. This is where it's good to be able to just like click up here and then they're just going to path around. So, this could have just come from the roadside cliffs one, actually. It's, almost, it's kind of satisfying. So, here we are, returning for our little mound that we couldn't do before. Let's get it dug up. Right. Better than a kick in the teeth, as some might say. Okay, so I think we will clear out the goblins. I think... Realistically, we sh I don't know, we should do some... Should I feel like we should do some exploration, but... We can go in. We'll probably get level-ups in there anyway. But before we do... We definitely should use our second short rest here. Just to recover some health. We didn't use too much in the way of um, spell slots. So we're probably going to use both of those in this battle, though. And the spell points, because there's some, some, some tougher enemies. They're easy enough to deal with, and I think we still get the XP even if they kill them. So you could just be lazy if you wanted, but um, I like getting next. I like getting next in the fight. Um, now, I suppose if you really want like a good advantage here, we could we could separate you off. Come this way. Two fifth level slots. Okay, so uh, I was actually trying to assassinate the guys up here, but it seems they don't turn up until we trigger this. So we can still have the high ground though, so it's not too terrible if we come up here early. That pack of goblins will be on us any second. What's going on? Goblins are on our tail. Open the gates, Sevlor, now. You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please, there's no time. By the nine hells, open the gates. <coughs> Provoke the blade and 
suffer its sting. The guy is pretty cool. <laughs> Crazy amounts of buffs everywhere. Yeah, so we even gained 10 XP for that guy. We didn't even touch luck. So you don't need to feel too much animosity about them taking a load of the uh, enemies or damage out. I guess the question is, do any of these guys have any good loot we could let the goblins kill them for? I don't actually know. Because the goblins basically can't win, right? They're never going to make it up to the gate. We could let these die. But anyways, we're going to clear this high ground, because I want it for me. Critical miss. Lovely. Should probably fast save close to the beginning of this anyway, just in case something goes wrong. Oh, can I get two of you? Can I? Oh, I shouldn't have. <laughs> Went pretty well. So this guy's the tough one. So I think we're just gonna fight naturally. We don't want Will to die, he can actually join the party. And he's a warlock, so pretty cool. We'll get you up here. You're going to be firing a shot off. Not that it's like the perfect shot, but you might as well have it. Yeah. It's like the best ever ambush on these now. Boy, don't grease me. jump down there, but that's not going to be great, is it? He fails to save going through the grease, that's not really ideal. Ah, we'll get it again. Oh, critical miss again! Styrian is uh, having some bad luck today. So we can finish you off. Should be good with that, that's fine. So, let's make our way down the ledge. Yeah, you're a melee catcher. You can go down there. It's fine. You're a, you're a good combatant. Unfortunately, it just always seems really difficult for her to get there. She really needs to get the Misty Step. She gets it for free eventually, don't she? They're all going to go down in a minute. Why am I at a disadvantage here? Outside normal range. Uh -huh. Good shot there. Finally! Level up time! That's what I wanted!
Are they attacking each other? What happened there? Computer misclicking or what? <laughs> oh, they're like throwing healing at each other. Can you throw healing potions? I didn't know you could do that. Shot. It's like bows are like imperatives. We barely even took damage here. Fleshy laser, I didn't even get in there with your sword. Despite everything. Fireball, let's go. Uh so, last guy. Why is the fireball out? What? Oh, it's because I already did an action. So. Yeah, you don't remember. You're like, oh, wait, what? What's <laughs> got left? Three. I'm really feeling the need for that extra charisma. I've missed loads. Uh, I need loot. That's what I need. So that's next for me. I wonder what they wanted here. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. No, 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 no. Why, why are you there? Why, whilst you're there. <laughs> there we go. So we don't actually need to go straight in there. We can wait around. And there's some interactions to be had in there. Let's go ahead and grab all of our loot. I'm actually quite happy we got to level three. Yes. I love his voice. I don't know why it's so seedy. We should probably go in next. Then we can drop off some loot. Like we, like you might as well fill your pockets with this because it can all go straight to a vendor. I'll just take it all. I might as well take it all. Uh, warg. Empty, 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 empty. There's a gun up there. Did we get you? I think we did get you actually. You just don't, <laughs> don't do it. It's red. Like that. Why does that one count as red? Why is that one stealing? I think that's everything for now. Yep, looking good. Let's go. Let's go ahead and enter the Emerald Grove. We'll do the first interaction and then uh, probably call the episode at that point. Um, so, like, here's something to say before we get into... This place seems but let's at least I didn't mean to do that. Before we get into this, right, there's truly evil, which is siding with the goblins. Got it. Start now. Or there are shades of good and bad that we can participate in within the Emerald Grove. Right? Like, truly 100% evil is siding with the goblins, and you're going to come in here... And you're going to exterminate everything that lives, including the civilians and children. The alternative is... We can start with these, but you can be good or bad, and you can be on different sides. There's the tiefling side, there's their side, there's the druid side. So there's lots of kind of like animosity going off in here. So plenty of you to play with. Okay, so we are going to go with... Oh, we've got plenty to do here. Oh, I'm using a steering. This is bad. Hello there, are you again? Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward! The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. He... And he has some charisma. No, he has persuasion. This ain't gonna work, is it? Cut. Okay, let's see what happens. I haven't failed this before. With a thunk, the armored man collapses, unconscious. Enough. 
The goblins have found us. No doubt the beasts will be back. We need to pack up and leave. Immediately. Okay. And that's why you should always try and leave, lead with your speaker. If you want to actually succeed. Let's not forget while we're here. Not the nat one, he won't. Okay, so let's get some leveling done. We got some level ups to do. So we got spells, and I don't know which one I want here actually. Again, so honorable missions for spells here. We've got AOE with cloud daggers. But I don't think we want that too much. We already have. Um, one, and we can actually extend the range of it soon. So we already can actually. Of the uh, flaming hands, which are good. So we've got nice high single target damage here, which is pretty good. Um, other things you could do detect thoughts are really good for dialogue options. In fact, there's an interaction you can use this for very soon with Kaga when we're going to speak to one of the druid ladies. So pretty good if you want to use that. But because we're our sorcerer and our spells are set, we can't really swap these in and out until we level again. So we don't really want that. This is going to get used way more often. Um, hold person is really good in stronger fights so if you are um, like heading into like the goblin camp to kill some leaders casting this on something and then having Lady Cell auto crit probably like twice with her um, extra action then that's going to like really be good for murdering stuff so pretty good for that um that's kind of tempting when I'm speaking about it, but just it depends on if it goes off, right? In terms of this, which is just going to do good, good damage. So those are probably the two go tos. I really started to think about this, but no, we are fire sorcerer, so we're going to take scorching ray. Uh, and we definitely at this point want quickened spell, which allows us to cast any spell twice for the cost of three spell points, which is something that we had now have. So it's one per, once per rest, kind of expensive actually, considering we can do Ice Knife twice, three times, for the price of one quickened, um, one quickened, technically, the, uh, the Firebolt spell we've just got, literally, uh, Scorching Ray, as the name is. So we can actually fire Scorching Ray twice with this. It's expensive to cast it this way, but it is, like, if you want Mega Burst damage, like, you need something dead on the first turn, it's how you get it done. So it's nice to have the option, in my opinion. Let's go through Shadowheart here. Maybe we can get read thoughts with you, actually. So Trickery Domain. She's set in Trickery, mate. Bear spells. We can get... Calm emotions, hold person. I think, uh, yeah, okay. And these are spells that we now have, aren't they? So we can, and we can set these whenever we want. So let's have a look. What do we want here? Ken, so once we're finished with um, Shadowheart here, here's how her spell setup's looking out for now. Obviously, we could actually switch these around, so it's not too important, but we've gotten create or destroy water in here so we can deal with fire. As we put fire out, it gets cast on us, this kind of thing. Uh, we've got Glen Bolton here, so we can actually do some big damage if we need to. And we have Aid, which is pretty powerful. Uh, this actually gets more powerful as she levels up, so this is going to go up in increments of 5 as she levels. Uh, but basically, we can start a fight with 5 overhealing, effectively over the top of her health, making us way tougher. Um, we'll keep the ranged heal on. I feel like um, the difference between like 4 and 11 and 4 and 7 is, isn't so big that we're desperate to have have this one on realistically we've got bless on there so it should be okay could, if this doesn't like work out we can always switch it anyway we still have command on this that's not too bad yeah, it's accepted okay so for me because it's characterful for what i'm going to have a stirring doing we're going to have him roll into assassin here obviously you can re-roll this into anything you want later you can get some extra cantrips and stuff for him um if you want him to have some extra bits and bombs you can have friends or like some extra stuff the issue here is he just really doesn't have that good of stats so you'll want things that aren't going to get saved against if you're going to take any of this so something like maybe illusion um or something like that same same goes for all of this so maybe like some stuff that can cast himself like disguise might be okay but he's gonna fail a lot if he ever tries to get offensive with it he can have magic missile which isn't bad i guess 
Um, but realistically, I'm going to go with the assassin. I'm being told very heavily the thief is straight up better at everything that the assassin could possibly do. But um, I, think, I feel like it's characterful because that's how he's going to act. Let's get Lazel done next. This should be way more straightforward. So she gets rolled into subclass Battlemaster, but we can pick something else. Kids so for our uh, our lady here. We're going to go ahead and go with menacing precision and pushing attack. Uh, I really like pushing attack, pushing stuff around, trying to like push them off ledges and stuff can be really useful. Um, precision is pretty good. It's going to be a feat later on where we can take like a penalty uh, to hit for more damage. And here we can mitigate some of that um, to hit problem. Or, like, if an enemy is difficult to get a handle on, it's just going to be helpful. Then we have Menacing Strike if you just want to do something with more damage. This could be pretty bad. Uh, news for our enemies, so that's quite nice. Should be, overall, Enough waiting. a nice little power-up. Either way, so we have arrived at the Emerald Grove. We're going to go ahead and finish off here, and then we can continue very shortly.